Hey, Mark from Whole Latte Love. We've got Morgan with me, and Morgan, we are excited. And why are we excited? Hey, everyone. We are very excited to introduce a new series from Gaja. This is the Anima line. So, Mark, tell us all about them. Right. So, there's three, three models here. There's just the Anima, then there's the Anima Deluxe, and the Anima Prestige. Um, now, what's different about the machines is how they work with milk and then some of the exterior treatment. But other than that, they are really very similar. So let's talk about what's the same. First, very narrow machines. Um, 8.7 inches wide among the narrowest super automatics. So if counter space is a concern, these are nice and narrow. Um, they're 13 and a quarter inches high. And you access water and beans up here. Now, when you lift these lids, if you've got 18-inch cabinets, these come up to 17, so you can still get them open. Um, they also they have pro programmable buttons, both all the machines, for espresso and espresso lungo. Um, so you can program how much you want. Um, on the base anima, you're going to froth with a auto-frothing Panarello wand. Takes no skill. Let's take a look at the milk over on the deluxe model. It uses a cappuccino tori. We use a tube, which you put into a milk receptacle, something with milk in it. Put your glass under. Press the button over here. It delivers froth to your glass. Then on the prestige, um, it uses a milk carafe. So you take off this spout. What's that for, hot water? That's for hot water. So if you want some hot water, you leave that on there. And you take this out of the fridge, you're all ready to go, you pop it in. And over on the other side, you've got buttons for a cappuccino or a latte macchiato. One thing I really like about these machines is the spout clearance. So you put your carafe on, push this over. You can fit pretty much a six ounce glass under there. So you put your glass under, press a button. I'm going to have it do that right now. I pre-programmed a drink here, a latte macchiato. Now the display has asked me, do you really have that craft in? And kind of reminding me. And I do, so it's going to go ahead. You can see it's grinding, you can hear it grinding the beans right now. And as it's grinding, it's also heating up to steam temperature to put steam through our milk to deliver the froth into our glass. Um, another nice thing while that's heating up, you can choose from five different coffee strengths on, on these machines. Most, and you'll see, I'm going to go, I'm going to, right now we're at the highest strength. I press one more and that lets us access the bypass doser. So if you had some pre-ground coffee, say a decaf late in the day, you dump it into here and it'll make you drink that way. And Let's back go. to those aroma strengths, Mark. Yeah. You can get a pretty high high strength coffee out of this. Yeah. Six and a half to what, 11 and a half? Grams Just, of coffee, yeah. yeah. So and it's for a single espresso, you use up to 11 and a half grams of coffee, um, which is pretty strong. Mm -hmm. And also like we have five strength selections, most machines only give you three, so you've got some more options there. So it automatically stops our milk and you can kind of see the froth there. I'll show it real quick before it starts brewing. Also when it brews, if you just heard that, that was pre-infusion and just pre-wet the coffee puck inside the machine to get more aroma and flavor out of it. And you can see now our espresso is going in and you're going to see some nice layering start to form here. And this drink was all programmed and programming the machine is really, really easy. And this is a one touch, right? So that this sets is it a apart one touch. from the other two. Yes, the Prestige is a one touch, mach one -touch machine. Um, so, yeah, if you go over to, say, on the Deluxe, you'll see that you just select to start the froth here, which I'm going to do right now. So in this one, you're going to get your froth in your glass and move your glass over to get your espresso. And it uses a cappuccino tori. You can see we've just got it into a steaming pitcher full of milk here, a little pickup tube. And this does all the frothing. It gives you a nice froth right out of the glass. Over on the... Uh, the base model Anima, it uses an auto-frothing Panarello wand. It's got a little hole that the air gets into the milk with. So you'd use a milk pitcher like this mm -hmm. and just put it in there and go. And we'll show you that in just a second. Um, yeah, that dosing is really nice on these machines. That you can really get a nice dose of coffee. You can see here comes our froth. And on this, again, that milk volume isn't programmable. It is on the Prestige model. But once we've got the amount of froth that we want, we're just going to hit this check mark here. I'm going to let that go just a little bit longer. I like my cups nice and full. And that's about what I want. So I press the little button here. That's all done. Now I'm going to move my glass over. And I like, I like my espresso strong, so I'm going to go up to that close to 11 and a half gram dose and press my espresso button. Now programming the coffee amounts, I'm going to do it right here while I make this drink. I'm just going to press and hold the espresso button until that memo comes up on the screen and that shows us that we're in the programming mode. 
Can you hear that grinder running? Mm -hmm. And that grinder is adjustable. I don't think we talked about that. But you can see over here, and it's the same on all three machines. You've got this little tool you press in here. It's a flat ceramic burr grinder. So you just press down and turn on this. Five grind settings, right? Five grind that? settings. And you can see our espresso going into our cappuccino there. And then once I've got the amount I want, I'm just going to press the check here again. And now that'll be saved for the next time you press that'll espresso. That'll be saved. Um, another nice thing about these machines is you can get two, you can get two espressos or two longer coffees because you've got the dual spouts and it's really simple. I'll do it over here on this machine. I'm just going to press the button twice. You can see how it says two X there. Mm -hmm. So it, and it will, it won't. It's not just going to put more water through the coffee. It's actually going to grind a second time for the second beverage. That's something pretty unique to these Gaja Anima machines, right, Mark? There's not. Too many other super automatics that. Well, a lot, a lot of some machines do, and, and some don't. Some, some just give you a, a little more coffee, or just put more water through the coffee, mm -hmm. which I really don't, I don't like. But uh, so there's our cappuccino from that machine, and our latte macchiato over here. Um, let's take a look. So again, you got the water on all the machines are same in this respect. You got a 60 ounce water reservoir. You can fill this right at the machine if you're, in, you're next to your sink with a hose, or you can take that to a sink and fill it. It, will use, it can take a water filter here. We don't have them in right now, but we do recommend using those. So you can see it did our first shot, and now it's going to grind again and do another one. You can see we got some nice crema in those espressos. Mm -hmm. And I really like that. Dose is a lot. If you really like a, a good, strong espresso, to be able to get 11 and a half grams out of a super automatic is kind of unique. Um, let's go over here and we'll show you like the menu system. So the menu is very similar on all the machines. But we'll take a look at it on the uh, Prestige here. So we just press the menu button and they're very simple. Now the Prestige has it one extra menu than the other machines and that's the drinks menu. We'll take a look at that real quick. So I go down, check that. So out of here you can get either, this is where you'd go to get hot water or get just milk froth for you know a cereal or something if you wanted. So if we go back out of this and then we'll just take a look at the menu. Now from here on out, the menu is very, very similar on all the machines. So here you can adjust the coffee temperature. If you want to do that, you can choose from three temperatures here. I like mine hot, so I'm going to put that up to the max. If you like that, you hit the check mark. It saves that selection for you. Hit the menu button again. We can set the machine in a standby mode to turn off anywhere from 15 minutes to three hours later. So it automatically turns off. You don't have to worry about leaving the house with this thing on. You can change the display contrast. You'll get a water hardness test strip with the machine. You'll test your water. You'll enter that information here. And then you'll tell it whether you're using that water filter or not. And between that water hardness and whether you're using a water filter and the number of coffees you made, the machine will tell you when it's time to run a descaling cycle, and you'd start it right here. Um, so that's the menu system. Again, they're very similar on all the machines with just the extra selection for milk and hot water here. And we're just going to get out of that and out of that. Um, Oh, also different on the machines, um, the base model is in all plastic construction on the exterior. The Deluxe and the Prestige, they add some stainless up here and stainless in the front. Mm -hmm. Why don't we take a look inside? Yeah, let's do that. So, there's our two espressos that we made over here. Mm -hmm. But we'll open this up. First thing we like on the drip trays, and they're all the same. You'll notice there's a little raised edge around here, so if you get any little coffee spatters or what have you, um, it can't go over the edges. It all ends up inside. And we also like that it's got a little positive lock here. So you push those in, pull out. And that's the, so there's our used coffee pucks. Mm -hmm. Holds 15. 15 of those. Um, and then the, here's where any of the drip ends up. Okay. And we like the little baffles here. It keeps, so as you take this out to go, you know, dump it out into your sink or whatever. Yeah, it's not sloshing all around everywhere. Not sloshing around. Um, also notice that it's let us know that this is out. Let me put this back in for a second. It does the same thing. The screen will alert you when you're out of water. I'm going to simulate that by removing. And it's telling me that I'm out of water. So if we had no water in there and with the thing in, it would, it would let us know that we need to fill it back up. Um, so inside the machine, the heart of these, and most every super automatic machine, is the brew group. So, and this is what it looks like. Whoop, let me make a little room here. 
So it pulls out real easy, and this is the regular maintenance you do on this machine. It's just taking this, the, the brew group, over to the sink, rinsing it with some cool water once a week just to get any coffee out. You don't want to scrub it, you don't want to use detergents. Very simple, just let it dry off and put it back in the machine, and that's your basic regular maintenance on this. Okay. Um, also keeping, you know, the milk things clean. Yes. Now let's do a little frothing on you showing how the Panarello wand works. So to do that, I'm just going to press the steam button here. You can see that you get a little temperature indicator here as the machine heats up. And that takes, oh, about 20 seconds or so. And I just want to make sure I get my pitcher under there. And you can see in the pitcher, I'm using a 12-ounce pitcher. I filled it just below the spout. I'm going to get that under there. So the Panarello ones really take a lot of the skill out of getting a nice frothed milk. Yes, it's got a little air intake hole in the side of the wand here that automatically injects the air. So you can see it's starting to create some froth there. Now I like my milk about 140 degrees. I find that's where it's the sweetest flavor. So I just hold this pitcher until just, I let it go until it's just a little uncomfortable. Now, nice thing with these auto frothing wands is once you get the amount of froth you want, you can continue heating. All you do is just lift this up to cover that air intake hole and it won't create any more froth. It'll just continue to heat and swirl the milk. And I want a little bit more, so I'm just gonna let that go. And it's just to the point where I like it, so I just press the check button. And then we're all done. And of course, when you're done, very important, always wipe down your wands. You want to keep those milk things clean. Now what I'm going to do is take one of those, sh one of those shots I made before. I'm going to put it into a glass. I would have preferred that a little fresher, but just yeah. for demonstration purposes. So there's our froth. Now I'm just going to give that a little swirl, a couple taps. What does that do? Just helps to mix the milk up and get rid of the, any uh, larger air bubbles. And I really don't have a lot. It really makes a nice, nice foam on top. Now I'm no artist, but I'm just going to pour that in there. Get a little bit of my froth on top, and oh, isn't that delicious? Delish. All right. So there's our latte. Um, so let's see. So, so some of the capacities, again, these are only 8.7 inches wide. They'll, you, you'll be okay under 18-inch cabinets. Um, that water tank, 60 ounces. Um, for your beans over here, flat ceramic burr grinder with five grind settings. Okay. Uh, you can hold 15, use 15 brewing cycles worth of coffee pucks inside. Um, so again, the, to, just to recap, the big difference is how the machines work with milk, and it's so over on the base, it's that auto frothing Panarello wand, on the Deluxe, it's the Cappuccino Tori, and on the Prestige, it is the One Touch and Milk Carafe. So you put your glass under, press your latte or cappuccino button, and that's all you got to do. Mm -hmm. And put this back in the fridge, and you're done. Um, and the really easy menus. And it's got that, you know, up to 11 and a half grams of coffee in a single brewing cycle, which is quite a bit, really. Um, I think that's about it. Morgan, anything we I think you got it covered. Found? Yeah. They are all available now at wholelattelove.com. Again, those are the, that's the Gaja Anima series. I'm Mark. I'm Morgan. Thanks for watching. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy, free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelattelove.com. Hey, Mark from Whole Latte Love. We've got Morgan with me, and Morgan, we are excited. And why are we excited? Hey, everyone. We are very excited to introduce a new series from Gaja. This is the Anima line. So, Mark, tell us all about them. Right. So, there's three, three models here. There's just the Anima, then there's the Anima Deluxe, and the Anima Prestige. Um, now, what's different about the machines is how they work with milk and then some of the exterior treatment. But other than that, they are really very similar. So let's talk about what's the same. First, very narrow machines. Um, 8.7 inches wide among the narrowest super automatics. So if counter space is a concern, these are nice and narrow. Um, they're 13 and a quarter inches high. And you access water and beans up here. Now, when you lift these lids, if you've got 18-inch cabinets, these come up to 17, so you can still get them open. Um, they also they have pro programmable buttons, both all the machines for espresso and espresso lungo, um, so you can program how much you want. Um, on the base anima, you're going to froth with a auto frothing Panarello wand. Takes no skill. Let's take a look at the milk over on the deluxe model. It uses a cappuccino tori. We use a tube, which you put into a milk receptacle, something with milk in it. Put your glass under. Press the button over here. It delivers froth to your glass. Then on the pr